All right, welcome this morning to Race Bottom Productions. Um, from time to time, we made videos and put on the website. Um, this morning, I've been uh, hydroforming some Lapour Dasher uh, Dasher brass. It's actually uh, is Lapour BR brass, and we're taking it and hydroforming it into Dasher brass. What we're using here um, is a Hornady fire um, hydroforming die. It comes uh, the die, the ram, and of course a shell shell holder. And the instructions are that you just put your the shell holder doesn't have a hole in the center like most of them do. But you just uh, put it in, and this one has been preset. I've used it. We're right at the tail end of uh, doing a hundred pieces of this. Uh, but you screw it in, and it tells you to lift your uh, ram <clears throat> until it hits the bottom here. And they don't want it to cam over. They want it to just uh, uh, almost get there, and. and be stationary. And I think that kind of cushions the blow. But your, your ram here goes in the top of your die and you can see it goes in and out. <clears throat> um, but we take the, the BR brass and um, we've taken some spent primers out of the uh, the press here that we've used before and of course we've already loaded uh, a place of spent primer in here. You might see that I've got on safety glasses. Um, in this 100 pieces here I actually got a, a primer that had not fired. I wasn't paying real close attention and um, put the piece of brass in, raised the ram and on my first lick the ram shoots out by my head here. It didn't go to the ceiling, but it um, the primer did ignite. So I I would recommend paying a little closer attention than I did. But um, <clears throat> this is a fairly simple process. What I've uh, settled on is I'll take the piece of uh, Lapour brass, place the spent primer in, and then I've got a little bottle here. I think I bought off of eBay, it's full of water and uh, put a little alcohol in to get the bubbles out. But what I do is place it in the <coughs> shell holder, raise the ram, and then just, um, to begin with, I hit it four real light licks. And you can feel the ram going down, so you can see the case is expanding, but uh, I do not hit real hard. <coughs> and then I'll raise, or lower the ram, I guess, and fill the case back full of water and um, raise it back up <clears throat> and then I hit it four pretty brisk times one and that's what I do to form my cases um, as you can see here we'll look at some cases there in a minute but it forms a nice case uh, I had fire form some brass earlier and uh, I thought it was kind of short. I think I'm going to get an extra ten thousandths at least out of doing it this way. Um, I've got three more. So I've done 96 pieces and you can see one here that actually split. And if you'll look real close, this thing split on the four lesser blows. So obviously that piece had a defect and um, you know it was identified so when I hit it that third time the ram just goes in the water skeet so um, I lost one piece out of a hundred so that's a pretty good um, percentage uh, you know, we'll uh, continue on with this video in a second here I'll show you what three pieces look like um, one step of the process that I forgot to mention um, is the use of a, a lube, I guess. I see, there we go. Um, I take the case and um, just lube it up. 
it probably helps it slide a little better in the uh, case but I'm going to walk right over here and look down there's the finished product um, you see the case there on the left that is a virgin piece of Lapua brass the case in the middle is a piece that has been hydroformed and the case on the right has actually been fired it was hydroformed and fired one time so you can see that uh, I think that was 31 grains of varget so it really formed that shoulder up in one firing um, the la my only other experience with dasher brass is I fire form just loaded around long and stuck it in the chamber and uh, I was not satisfied with the shoulder angle till after the third firing so I'm convinced that hydroforming has its benefits um, I hope you've enjoyed this I hope it turns out uh, and it can be beneficial or to someone so from race bottom uh, here we are on I guess about the 14th of December we'll say Merry Christmas to all of you have a good one